Did she tell you that she was molested? No, sir. She was molested. She was the R word. And ever since then was when that spirit came. So since 2020, that's when I noticed that I've been moving from one guy to another. And anytime I'm in a relationship with a guy, I'll notice that things are not going well. What was the name of the person that used her? Did you want me to be getting my money from now? Oh. So we are not we are not here to condemn anybody. This is a lesson for me and for you. Little girl, who is where's her mom? Ah! Is your younger sister? Yeah. What can you say about her? Uh, Very well, yeah. because every time different boys. Yes, we used to talk to her. She will not listen to us. Sometimes she will run away from yes, home. Yes, yes. You will go and find her, look yes, for her, but you yes. can't find her. She was yes, in house of a boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She was infected with this spirit when she yes, was young. Yes, yes. Today is the end. Look here, look here. How do you make her to go from boy to boy? <laughs> eh? How? Did she tell you that she was molested? No, sir. She was molested. The R word. And ever since then was when that spirit came. In! Real person, come back. I want to talk to the real person, not the. What's your name? You have been moving from boy to boy. You can't help yourself, do you know? You find yourself having the urge for different guys. And it has become a problem in the family. Everybody keeps abusing you. But they don't understand that in the past you experienced an encounter of being forced against your will. Relationship that was sensual, that is not your will. Like you were forced, you, as if you were drugged. When you woke up is when you knew yourself. You were abused. You remember what I'm saying? Can you tell me when did this happen? How old were you? What university did you go? Are you in? Ekiti State University. You were forced. Yes. Forcefully molested. Yes, sir. Ben, can you tell us what happened after that? Ever since then. I've been going from guys to another guys, and whenever they leave, I'll still find myself with another guy again. Like having different sexual encounters. Yes, sir. Because of that incident. Yes, sir. The first. Did you tell anybody that you were forced? No, sir. That you were raped? No, sir. You didn't tell anybody. Don't worry, Jesus loves you. So it's not you that wants to be moving from boy to boy. It's that even in the school, they know you. It has made you popular. Yes, sir. Negatively. Yes, sir. Oh, that she little talk like this, they will sleep with you. Come. Yes, sir. It's over today. Come. My beautiful sister, today the devil of sexual addiction is leaving you. You spirit I was talking to, you can't hide anymore. You know who is talking to you. Your time is up in that body. I render that body uncomfortable for you right now. You dog spirit, you ancestral spirit. You spirit of wickedness. Spirit of fornication, addiction, come out. In Jesus' name. Out of that body. Out. Take your addictions. Take that trauma. Out. Now. You anger. Spirit of anger. Come out of that body. No longer with her past. Hold on to her. And create a future. In Jesus Christ's name. Where's the sister? You knew that she was molested? No, 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 no. But you knew that she kept on going from boy to yes. boy? She will not stay at home. Even if we call her, she will not pick the call. So later she will come back. If you are talking to her, she will not listen. No, no, and yeah. recently, she even had infection. She will check her phone. It's full of porn, pornography, all the time. So the spirit came in through intercourse, through forced intercourse. Oh! <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. One of the things we need to understand is number one, nobody writes letter to problem. They say, Dear Wala, bracket, problem, my name is, I live at, please come and visit me. Problems just come. The Bible says, In this life, you shall have many tribulations and trials. But what? Be of good cheer. Have what? The world will be a better place if there is what? Empathy. If someone can say, ah, it's not me, but Toba Jamie so We are not we are not here to condemn anybody. Mount Zion. Land of deliverance and holiness. My name is Akinele Favor. I'm a student and I live in Oyo. This started around 2019. There is this guy that is my senior in my secondary school. We guys are just friends. So after I left my secondary school, he's also in the same university that I am in. So we started calling each other. Sometimes we said I should come to his place. Though I never wish to have anything with him because I've never had anything with any other guys before and I'm not ready. Most times I'll go to his place. He said, let's do this. I said, no. The brother kept saying to you, let's have sex, but you will say no. Yes. I don't want to. And you kept, but you, you kept visiting him. Yes. Okay. So not until one day I went to his place. Me going to his place before, he used to get anything for me. So that day I was like, ha, ah, why did you get drink? Hey, I'm surprised though. It is just a normal drink. So after taking the drink, I just fell asleep. Me waking up, even I thought, it is my menstruation. So when you woke up, you saw blood, thinking yes. it was your menstruation. Yes, sir. Uh, I left his place. So since 2020, that's when I noticed that I've been moving from one guy to another. And anytime I'm in, I'm in a relationship with a guy, I'll notice that things are not going well. Even if I have money, I'll still be the one to be giving the guy money. If we have issues, I will have sex with them and I will leave. So... It continues. Everybody started abusing me at home, even my sisters. My mom, whenever I went out, my sisters would call me, so I won't pick up. So whenever I get home, my mom, my mom is just being tired of me. My sisters would call me, cursing me that he will already broke all my I'm causing shame to them in the family. In my schools, I can't even say these are the guys that I have have sex with because even most times, I do try to keep myself busy so I won't be able to think of any other guy again. But no, it is just too hard for me. Everybody think I'm doing it because of money. But no, I'm not doing it because of Even in schools, they'll be like, oh, no, sure, mom. You were the one even paying those guys sometimes with your own money. Yes. And they will sleep with you. Yes, sir. I will know that I'm having lecture in school. But I'll feel comfortable staying in a guy's house, not going to school. It's not as if anything is wrong with me. To even read, it will be so hard for me. I just feel ashamed of myself. There is an issue that happened around last year, January. So this guy had to text my sisters that I've been, talk I've been having sex with many guys, that my life is rained. He, he even tested my friends. So... My sister has to call me, cursing me, saying a lot of things. I was just crying that, is this really me? Around 2021, too, my dad was threatening me that, okay, you will kill me. He's just saying a lot of things because I have what I want to do in my mind, too. I had to run out of the house. I went to a guy's place. I did not, I did not stay with my parents for like a week. So my daughter... Writing a lot of guys that I've dated, like, since that 2020, even more than 20 guys. To even figure out that was actually happening. That you have slept with, because that you have use, slept the with. Urban, you, urban slang for dating is intercourse. It's the way they say it, that they are dating. It's a way, you know, there's a way a generation euphemizes sin. Prostitution now is hook up, so that it will not sound as bad. So most times I'll just wake up in the middle of the night crying. I'll just be thinking that what's actually happened. I'm very tired of everything. I had no peace. 
even if I have money, the way I will spend the money, I, I won't even say, okay, this is what I get. But nobody seems to believe me. My sister standing here beside me, she was like, ah, she went to a church. The following Sunday, we came to church. I've had so many infections. Even the last time I treated myself, I spent like 20,000. The day I and my sister we came to church, I had anointing service. My sister did not know that we should bring anointing oil to church. So, because we have small bottle with us, so one man is sitting beside us. We have to beg the man that he should just give us small oil. We also raised it up. When the man of God said, we should use it to touch where yeah, we are having an issue. I, I used it to touch my pelvic. When we get home, I saw so many things on my panties. I was like... Some things came out of you. Things came out of me. Like brown. It's not water, but it is thick. She was living a lifestyle that was a lifestyle of shame. People thought she was enjoying it. They did not know that she was crying about it. Even the child knows it's bad. He knows that something is wrong. The dad was ready to beat her and chase her out of the house. You must change. You cannot do this. So it means they are good parents. And remember, she lost her chastity to somebody that drugged her. She was innocent. But a spirit entered her. A spirit of dog. In this world today, we have so many people that are living in darkness. They want to see light, but there's no light to shine. They go to pastors. Pastors will still take advantage of that weakness. I said it in that prophecy when I saw on, on Sunday, last week Sunday. I said to her, I said, in your school, they, they can say it's one drink. They will used to sleep with you. Now, this sister, I'm not saying she's like that, but there was something that was put on her. She did not know the experience that disvergined her. But something was put in her soul that made her to begin to attract different men. Not knowing. That, you know, she said that any man she's dating, she's sleeping with, things will be bad for the man. The person that slept with her, there are two types of agents. There's agents by proxy and there's agent that knows. The one that is by proxy, because somebody is the one that pushes her into it. The other one, they are happy that they are agents. Anybody taking you for prayer concerning this matter? No, sir. They are using cane. On a spiritual matter. The Lord will deliver you today if you are in lust. After that encounter on that Sunday, before, even to sleep at night, it will be very hard for me. You won't be able to sleep? Yes, even during the afternoon, I do wish to sleep until I masturbate. That's when I'll be able to sleep at night. So now, how is the masturbation? <laughs> it's coming to my mind, but it's as if something is pressing me down. Anytime this thing comes to my mind, like, I won't know how to go again, but before, ah, uh, it won't go. Even if I want to read like this, ah, uh, you know, it will be very hard. So you cannot read, you will just be watching. Yes. So if you cannot have intercourse, you must watch pornographic videos. Yes. Can you see that even those who are in darkness, they don't like darkness, but nobody to show them the light of God's word. In the name of Jesus, you spirit, come out of this sister now. Now. Who are you? Now the spirit will talk because he's no more, he's no more given a place to hide. What have you done to our sister? Quickly. When I'm done with her. What huh? will happen to her? I want to destroy her. I just wish to... Why? How have you been destroying her? How? In what way? Through sexual intercourse. Through sexual intercourse. Yeah. How, how many years ago did you enter into her body? You are exposed. It's been long it's now. Been long. Ah. What are the habits you have given to her? Hold the microphone yourself and talk to the microphone yourself. She drinks. I've made a way we won't get. Ah. How many of you are living in that body? I'm the only one. Because I'm a billionaire. Where did you want me to be getting my money from now? Oh. So you use that. <laughs> What happens to the men that sleep with her? They go to glory. They take all their glory. What was the name of the person that used her? Ayo. Your time is up in this body. Right now, I command that usage to end. Out of that body now. Whatever you put in her body, I remove it now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out.
of that body. In Jesus Christ's name. It's free.